Hi guys, here's a little introductory video about how to hold the uke, how to tune the uke, and um, some basic stuff to get you going on a couple of chords and strum patterns. So, here's my ukulele, has four strings. The strings are A, E, C, G. I have a low G, so your G may sound like that note. Okay, so A, first string, E, second string, C, third string, and a G. Okay, one of the main things I find that's really helpful is to have, is to work on how you hold the U with your left hand, which is going to make your chords and your notes. So you want to think of a little smiley face holding an orange or a cricket ball. So you have that shape there, imagining you're holding the orange, you slide it in onto the uke. So the thumb will just slide along the back gently. Okay, you might peek over the top, but you don't want to grab onto it like that. Okay, so I've got my little smiley face, that space between the hand and the bottom of the ukulele. And then my fingertips then can come over and get a nice clear sound. Okay, so you'll notice that my no other fingers are touching the ukulele when I'm making that C chord but they're ready there to make other shapes. So I want to try and get that fingertip onto the string to the left of the fret, okay? Now sometimes these fingers will go, want to do their own thing. You want to try not to have them tucked behind there or resting on the string. So eventually, if you practice that enough, holding the orange, putting the thumb in, curling the fingertips, it will become easier, okay? And you'll be able to get, just relax those other fingers. Okay, so that's my left hand, and that's going to play notes for me, and it's going to play chords for me. Now this part of the arm here can relax and move. You don't want it tucked in tight and fixed there. You'll see that I like to have my uke on a little bit of an angle. I can rest that on my knee, or I can use this little strap. There are different kinds of straps, but I use this one, and that goes... Uh, hooks onto there. So it just helps me get a bit of an angle. This hand is my strumming, my rhythm hand. I can also uh, use it for picking, finger picking, which we may do down the track, strumming, and I can use it for single note. Okay, if I want to pick melodies and riffs and things. This hand for strumming, my technique is my main strumming technique is that I pinch these two together so I've got my first finger and my thumb so this is first second third fourth and my thumb I pinch those together and I strum using the nail of my index finger so I'm going to go down and I try and hit all those four strings together now when I strum down I'm going to strum across this fingerboard and not across the sound hole I'm just going to strum down with my little pinchy technique and it shouldn't hurt because my fingernail will protect my nail our finger my nail will protect my finger okay so that's my down strum you can see I've got my little elbow tucked the uke tucked into the little crease of my elbow my wrist is relaxed and I just kind of let it swing down and hit those strings that's my down strum my up strum is going to actually be done by the pad of that index. So I guess my thumb would slide back a bit. So my up hits the strings coming back up. Now, it may look easy or sound easy, but it just takes practice. So once you've practiced that enough, you can uh, do it on open strings bit often is the way to go so you don't want to spend hours doing that you just want to do it often so it becomes um, second nature you can strum with your thumb and I tend to do it when I'm doing this sort of thing just down the strums so if you do this you can't get a lot of volume okay so really you're going to get volume by this attack with this pinching technique I mean, you can, some people use all four fingers, you can do that as well. Okay, so our basic strum technique, pinching, first and thumb, down, up, down, up. Beautiful. 
So that's left hand technique, right hand technique, and we'll learn a chord. So we're going to start with C. So we're going to have our third finger. So it's one, two, three. So it's our ring finger next to pinky. Okay, so third finger, fingertips up, smiley face. First string, third fret. Third finger, third fret, first string, the chord of C. C. Okay, so we go down, down. And when you're learning chords, just keep this, what you do with this hand simple. So I might just do downs. C. Sorry. Here's my smiley face. Nice, relaxed fingertips. So if I feel comfortable with that chord, I'm going to try A minor. So that will just come over the top. So here's C, second finger, second fret, fourth string. A minor, second finger, second fret, fourth string. A minor. Down and up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Two and three. A minor. a good start getting those two chords happening smoothly getting your down up strum once you can do that then it's a matter of just adding more chords and varying the strum pattern okay hope you have fun with that bye for now